channel. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I got this eyeshadow look. However, if you do want to see how I did my foundation for this look, it is a full coverage foundation. Just click right here. And if you want to see how I did the highlighting and bronzing for this video, then click right here. So they will also be linked below. If you're on your phone, you can't click them. So if you want to see just the eyeshadow, keep watching. apply that into this inner crease here and down on my lower lash line just in this inner corner. For the rest of the lid I'm gonna go from here keeping it below this crease out to my corner right here and I'm gonna be using the color REM. It is a very light purple color and I'm just gonna be using the same brush that I applied the white with. For the outer corner and right above the crease, I'm going to be going in with the stroke. It is a very dark, midnight, sparkly blue color. I don't know if that's picking up well on camera, and I'm going to put that right above the crease and in this outer corner. And I'm just going to bring that out to make a wing. And then just kind of connect it to where this top part left off of that purple color. And then I'm just going to fill that in. And then just kind of start blending it out into the purple color. The reason I'm not using a big brush to blend this out is because I don't really want the eyeshadow to stray too far from where I've put it. I don't want it to go everywhere. I just kind of want it to look a little less, little less harsh on the lines. And then for this area, I don't want to blend down because I want this to stay pretty straight, so I'm just going to blend that up into the rest of the eyeshadow. So now I'm actually going to take this Alice Copper color. It is a reddish maroony copper color, and I'm going to put that right here above everything else. I'm just going to kind of put a couple of polka dots, and then I'm just going to blend that. And I don't really want it to be so long, so I'm actually going to take some of that off. I'm going to take a little bit more of that Alice Copper and put that right here where it kind of dips down and just blend it over into the inner crease. Right above the white and then back out towards the outer crease and up towards the eyebrow. I'm going to go back in with the stroke, the very dark blue color, and I'm going to touch up that area. To blend out those edges, I'm just going to go in with this fluffy eyeshadow brush and blend that out. So then once I have that dark blue color, I'll, I'll blend it out with the copper color. I go back in with the light purple, and I'm just going to kick some more of that color on. Same with the metallic color in the corner, just to clean up some of that copper color that got a little too close there. So that's pretty much it. And then the last thing I would do is I'm going to go in with the shade Daggio. It is a very light peach color. And I'm just going to put that below my brow. Right here. And here. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. eyeliner. This baby is only a dollar and it is actually pretty awesome. It is the liquid liner. It looks like this. And it's pretty amazing for only being a dollar. And I'm just going to start in the middle of my eye and then work outward. And then once I have that, the end of it on, I'm going to go in with the eyeliner and I'm going to do this intersection of my eye. I always save this part for last. So I'm just going to go in and stay as close as I can to the lash. And I want to get that all the way to the corner. So I will go like this at the very end. And then that's it. And we'll just touch it up on this side because this side's always, with this eyeliner, it kind of washes it off as you go over it and over it. So I try to make it look a little better over here. But for a dollar, I cannot complain. So this is the finished product other than mascara. I was debating between fake lashes or mascara and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do mascara. But I did forget the eyeshadow on the bottom. So for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna add a little bit extra metallic right here. 
And then I am gonna go in with the light purple, the REM, in the middle here. And then for the end, right here, up until it meets my outer corner, I'm going to do the dark blue color. And I'm just gonna kinda messy, make that messy right there. And then I'm just gonna kinda blend them all together, and that is it. All that's left is the mascara. So since I'm not doing big lashes, I try to make my lashes look as big as possible. So I'm gonna go in with two mascaras. For my primer, I'm gonna be using the Little Black Primer from Estee Lauder. I think it is the first black primer instead of a white. And it is pretty awesome. The brush looks like this. And I'm just going to put that on my lashes, on my top lashes. And honestly, after putting this on, like if you weren't going for a super intense lash look, then you could probably even just wear this as mascara. So and I actually like to go above my lashes and then curl them up. And then I will usually use an Estee Lauder mascara first. So I'm gonna go in with Sumptuous by Estee Lauder. I'm gonna apply that over the primer. And then I will always go on the bottom. Can't neglect the bottom lashes. And then lastly, I will go in with my Lights, Camera, Flashes mascara from Tarte. It is this one. I use this in almost every video. It's my favorite mascara because it separates lashes so well. And I'm going to focus mainly on this outer corner. So that's it for the makeup, and then next I'm just going to fill in my brows using the Estee Lauder Eyebrow Automatic Pencil Duo. And it just has a brush on one side and the pencil on another, and this is in the shade Soft Blonde. And then I'm just going to take my highlighter, my BB highlighter from Estee Lauder, and this angled brush here. So now for the lips, I don't actually have a lip liner, so instead I'm going to take, because I'm doing this color today, it is Sweet Pink Rose by NYX. It is this very bright pink color. Instead of using a lip liner, since I don't have one to match it, I'm just going to take this eyeliner brush. It looks like this. It's an angled brush, and I'm just going to get some of the product on there and use this as my liner. And since it is winter time and it's so dry outside, my lips are so dry. So I will go over that with NYX Butter and it is in the shade Sugar Cookie and it pretty much matches perfectly. And this is very pigmented too for gloss. Okay, so that is it for this look. Oh my god, I forgot to do my brow. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.